Hello everyone, Dr. Sam Schroetke here of Physical Therapy and Hand Clinic of Hillsborough with Technique Tuesday, and we are going to do a neck exercise, cervical exercise today. This is, going, this is called cervical, well, it's sustained cervical retraction in prone. So prone means lying on your stomach, sustained means we're gonna hold it. I, I, I know you guys probably know this, but I just wanna make sure. Uh, this is a forced progression. So if you had done the seated cervical retraction and extension, and maybe a rotation. And you tried that a bit and it was kind of helping, uh, but not fully, or it wasn't really helping but not making you worse, then we might want to progress the force. Okay, so this is a force progression of that. All right, so firm surface, firm bed is fine, floor is great too, that's fine. You're gonna get in kind of this prayer position. So your elbows are kind of right below your shoulders and you're resting on your hands here. This can be helpful when you're sustaining it, so that's partly the reason it's a force progression, but also being on your stomach, it, it actually helps mobilize your upper thoracic spine, uh, which can be involved in some of these neck-like issues, okay? All right, so resting here, our eyes are kind of at a 45 degree angle, and what we do here is we retract, and then we rest our chin on our fingers and then just kind of sink into it. Mm. And you just hold it here. I would hold it for, boy, 30 seconds, maybe no more than 60. You might even have to start at 15 if it's kind of uncomfortable. Uh, but ideally what happens is it gets a little more comfortable as you hold it, not, not more uncomfortable, okay? So once again, I'm on my elbows, I'm on my stomach, I retract here a little bit, and then I lift my chin just, and I put my chin right on my fingertips, and then just sink into it. holding for 30 to 60 seconds, okay? Um, and if you've done that, you, you wanna get up, you wanna check not only your pain, but also your range of motion. And if it feels better, then it's a good, um, I, it's a good indicator that this is gonna be beneficial for you. If it feels worse, so if you do this, and your, your, your pain is worse, your motion's worse, don't do it, okay? Um, but if it is better, and your symptoms are less, and you have more motion, then it's a good one to do. Um, I would start with 30 to 60 seconds, or 15 to 60 seconds, let's say that, just to make sure. What some people need to do, uh, but again, start with the lesser first, 15 or 30 seconds first. What some people will do is they'll retract, hold it, say for 30 seconds, then they'll relax a bit, 10 or 15 seconds, and then they'll do one more set. 30 to 60 seconds. You don't necessarily need to do that, but that's what you can do if we need to get more time in that extended position, okay? Um, all right. So one more time, on your elbows, looking at a 45 degree angle, retract a little bit, so that's pulling this way, double chin it, and then rest that chin on your fingertips, let yourself sink into it, hold for 30 to 60 seconds. All right? And then you get up, how's your pain feel? Check all the motions, does that feel more free? Does it feel like you can get farther and does it feel more free? If so, go for it, that's a green light. If, if it feels worse, I, I wouldn't do it. I'd, I'd try one of our different exercises. All right. Dr. Sam Schoke here, Physical Therapy and Hand Clinic of Hillsborough with Technique Tuesday. Sustained cervical um, extension in prone. I might have said, uh, uh, but anyway, sustained cervical extension in prone. I'm hoping I said that properly. 30 to 60 seconds, you're going to do it every two to three hours. Okay? As with anything, though, check with your physical therapist or physician before doing any of this to make sure that it is appropriate for you. Uh, like us on Facebook, uh, like our YouTube channel, follow us, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ask questions, we will get back to you. Dr. Sam Schroke here and signing out, thank you.